Welcome back to Marvel's Films. Today we have a straight unboxing and first look of the Sony A7S 3 And then I forgot that my microphone wasn't connected when I was recording the live unboxing of the A7S 3 And I got just the sound from my camera and I will pause that after this introduction and actually just a comparison between the Sony A7 III and also some things that you didn't know that you get included with the Sony A7 S3. So after this video the live unboxing that I made and last about 10 minutes will be forward and actually you can watch it. For now let's go straight to this A7 S3 that I got for my own money and I will share all my thoughts and experience about it. So for my first look and compare to the Sony A7 III that I was using right now, the grip of the Sony A7 S3 feels pretty much better and actually it's kind of bigger. So your actual camera will land more gently and perfectly in your hands. Even if you have bigger hands, looks like they improved this design and actually made a better grip rather than the Sony A7 III. You can actually see the difference and actual how bigger is the grip and actual larger for a better hold. The next thing is we have a dedicated record button on top. There is no such thing on the A7 III that I was using right now. The record button was actually under the EVF and this is kind of a better placement of the record button and actually easier when filming to press just like this, just like a shutter record button but like this rather than pressing now we have an C1 here. So it's a better placement for the record button. And now we are getting to a banger feature that actually nobody tells you in any of the reviews that I watched. And this is actually a part that you are getting straight on your original box of the Sony A7S 3 And it's designed by Sony. What this does is actually have a better, sturdier connection when you are connecting your cables to your Sony. And this gives you your HDMI, multi and USB port much better grip and actual a much better connection and secure fitted so it will be a firm, secure fit and you don't have to worry that you will break your HDMI port and have a better, strong connection for all your connection when recording with this camera. This is kind of just amazing and I didn't know that I will actually get this. It's plastic but it will do the job. Excellent. Then we have the shooting mode selector and in this variant rather than the Sony a7 III you have an actual press button and then you can turn the knob so you will not accidentally bump this thing and change the mode that you are and this also works for the exposure compensation and actually when you press it down it will stop and you will lock the exposure compensation on your right this is kind of the feature that i missed and i was actually bumping all the time this exposure compensation and I went from all the way from minus 3 to plus 3. This is a banger new feature that I really love. The battery slot compartments are completely redesigned with a better hinge and actually a higher press rate when you are opening or closing this door. I like it. It's kind of a similar system. It wasn't bad on the Sony A7 III, but I like it more on the Sony A. 7S3. The new great improvement on the Sony A7S3 is the full HDMI port. Finally I don't have to get this small micro HDMI and then convert it to a bigger. It was a pain. Perfect job, full HDMI port. We have a fully redesigned menu system and actually it's completely touch approved. So it's not only just touch focus but actually, sorry, I'm getting back my perfect screensaver. It's actually touch sensitive and you can control all the settings and all the menu system with touch function. Thank God that they introduced it. Panasonic got this type of things eight years ago. The Sony A7S 3 uses the same M PFZ stop battery just like the A7 III and this is great so you can actually swap batteries and if you have bought it before they will actually work 
just the same on the new Sony A7S III. The Sony A7S III came also with a charger. Thanks for introducing and getting back the charger because when I bought the Sony A7 III I didn't get a charger, just a cable and actually they meant, well, if you want you can purchase yourself a charger, you can actually charge your battery through USB-C. I just like to have a charger and charge my batteries and not having to connect every time a cable to charge my battery on the Sony. Thanks for getting back the charger. And I didn't mention I also got a UK power plug adapter for the charger, great add-on for this whole package. And I really forgot and I didn't mention that you get the flippy screen that everybody talks so it was kind of normal and actually expected that I will skip it because it's the best feature of all. <laughs> okay, so this was just my introduction of this camera and I will post more videos in the future starting from tomorrow. And I'm leaving you now from my bad recording that I made for the unboxing. Well, the recording is good, but the audio is bad. I'm sorry for that. See you really soon. Welcome back to Maros Films. Today we have the new Sony A7 III unboxing and first look and compare straight to the Sony A7 III. And just remember this video is not script and it will be maybe a little longer and maybe not so script and concise like I like to do it. So let's start straight. We have the first unopened box of the Sony A7 S III and it's completely mine. I bought it for my own real money, no other sponsors were in this video. So we can start straight unboxing it and actually tear off this protective Sony sticker and get straight into it. Okay, firstly let's start with the sticker and remove it. Okay, first time removing the sticker, let's open it and see what shall be inside. Excited. <laughs> Okay, first we have something. I don't know what, what that is. Well, maybe later we'll explain. An USB C cable, straight, manuals, with register and stuff, and which card should you use. Still, another manual and a very big manual for the instructions. Okay, so now. There is something to uncover. Oh, this looks like that. Okay, let's go forward and actually continue. The A7S3 strap. I never opened this, so this is the first time I'm doing it. And this is the A7S3. Let's take it out and Let's find if it's something else inside. Okay, so we get the MPF battery charger. Great, because I didn't get this with the Sony A7S III. You have to get it, and other spare one. This is a great add-on. Thanks, Sony, for including it in the package. Okay, what's inside more? Okay, so we have the European and the UK style power, so that's actually kind of amazing. If I will need it, I will use it. This is the European one for creation. And that's kind of all. Oh, there is nothing else inside rather than the battery, MPF style FC stop battery that I'm using with my Sony A7 III. Okay, so let's find out if there is something more inside. No, okay, that's it, removing all of that on the side and let's go straight to the A7S3 and then we will find later what's this for. Okay, putting all at the side because we have the unboxing for the A7S3 almost live, maybe I will edit some and jump cut. Whoa! Oh. 
securities. Oh, I didn't expect that. It's kind of, let me get back my wallpaper. That's better. Kind of the grip is bigger than the Sony A7 III. And I don't know if you can see it, but I feel that the grip is much more heavier and bigger. Actually, you can feel it that it has a better grip. And let's try it from my Panasonic experience later in the day. <laughs> Was it so hard to do that? We waited until the end of the 2020 to actually get the flip-out screen completely tiltable. And from my first impression, okay, let's remove the battery on my Sony A7S 3 and I will remind you that I'm recording all of that on my Sony A6400. So this is why there is less depth of field because I'm using the F4 1635F4. Okay, so first look. Well, they look kind of identical if you are not a Sony user, but you will get straight the point on the Sony A7 III. There are complete kind of redesigned buttons and I see it as a little higher than the A7S 3 Sorry, the A7S 3 feels a little higher, but this is kind of my first impression. We have a dedicated record button on the top rather than on the bottom side of the EVF. Kind of, this is a better placement. What's next? Well, the first thing that I will do now is to power on the camera. And, well, I have my Sony MPF battery from my A7S 3 uh, and it's the same, so it should work kind of fine. Let's do the first power on and see how it works. Okay, this is the first power on and switch on. Okay, we have the sound. And already we are on the menu system and it's asking English. Let's press OK. Set area, date and time. Enter. Okay, so I am Berlin, Paris, because yeah, I am in Europe. Okay. And date format, well, let's make it day, month, year. Okay, so, well, I can skip it for later. No, well, we will set it right now. So today it's the 13th of October, putting it straight now, okay, and well, I actually skipped it. And we are on the main menu system, and let's try, let's try to enter the menu system, touch screen, enabled, finally. So it's completely touch screen, you can navigate the screen completely with your finger. You don't have to actually use anymore this thing because the Sony A7 III is already touch capable but you can't navigate the screen and actually the menu system with it you have to use the joystick or the wheel so this is a great improvement and we are having a little new thing here as I can see the doors are way better and actually let's try to open okay so the SD battery slot with the CF Express A card is kind of a better feel. And on this side we have finally, well let's switch it off for a moment. We have finally that flappy doors that you get with the Sony A7 III. I really don't like it. Well in this case we have the flap doors that actually hold a bit tighter and they're much better quality than the A7 III. Thank you Sony for doing that, I really love it. And look at it, this kind of don't wobbles so much. And we have the full HDMI output. Finally Sony, this micro, this micro HDMI port wasn't the best one because having a full having a full HDMI port is way better. And let's see what are the other outside perks. Well, for now, it feels pretty new. Well, it's a new camera. We have a new 
dial on top as you can see with kind of a button in front well i will get later on this and actually make a dedicated video on what i think about the a7s3 compared to the a7 III and actually a lot more videos with a lot of settings and actually explaining what is my best setup and actually i have here already from small rig the a7s3 cage and it's a full cage with the handle on top and with the wooden handle on the side so I will be also making a dedicated review for this cage and actually if it's good. Well, for now we are finished and actually this is almost a live review. I unboxed it and for the next video, see you very soon.